All right, YouTube, what's up, man? So we're going to jump back into the simulation and talk about the shit that occurs, okay? And I'm going to tell you guys that I know what this is, and I'm going to tell you why. So I'm at the gym, right? I'm working out, doing my thing. Half the people are wearing masks. Half the people aren't, right? The, the staff guy from the front desk walks up to me as I'm working out on a machine, right? He's like, hey, you got to put your mask on. And I'm like, oh, yeah? I react like a fucking square, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, here, I got my mask right here, huh? Put it on. Don't, don't question him. Don't call him out like, motherfucker, why did you pick me out of everybody in here? And then he didn't go say it to anybody else. What the fuck? Okay? So I don't call him out on it, but I start steaming like, oh, you want to try and stop me from breathing? Restrict me taking in air, huh, buddy? Really? You want to try to regulate me breathing. You're trying to take my breath away, huh? So right away, you guys know exactly what went through my mind, okay? So I'm like, let me go get something to drink, right? I walk into TJ Maxx to get a vitamin water. Vitamin water is very good for you, you guys, okay? That shit was formulated, man, fuck, man, by some scientists. Everything is technology and science, Okay? Don't get it fucked up, you guys. This isn't real. So I go into TJ Maxx and I don't wear my mask when I walk in the store. And I'm just told, even though this guy just checked me about it, I walk into TJ Maxx with no mask. Not even on my neck. And I'm not conscious of it. I'm just being a human being. I will not keep playing this game. I, I have to. But you guys get this, this, this shit. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Are, you think you're going to break me, but I'm going to break you. I'm going to break everything. I'm going to shatter reality. They have to do something to shut me up. Okay? And I don't care. I'm not scared of anything, you guys. You've seen me go against the cops. You've seen me in a fucking... In a fucking gang-infested neighborhood. Standing ten toes down. Bringing you guys the story. I'm not scared of anything because I know this shit is not real. It's not real. It's not real, you guys. I had a homie who got shot 12 times in the back by somebody sitting in his back seat in a drug deal gone wrong. He had a gun under his shirt as the individuals got in his car. He's really dark skinned. So they thought he was like a Somalian or something. No offense to any Somalians, but they just thought dude was like, just like green to the game and didn't really understand. So these fools jump in, think he's like a Somalian or something. And honestly, Somalians go hard though, you guys. So you can't underestimating people is a big mistake. That's one thing I don't like to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care if you're 10 feet tall or five feet tall. If I got to take you down, I'm taking you down hard. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, so my boy, my boy gets popped 12 times in the back 
because he went to hand a 40 bag of weed. He's telling me a story. I'm like, why didn't you just give him the fucking weed? And he was like, man, fuck that shit crazy. Why am I going to bring a pistol and not use it? And I'm like, Whoa. So the white dude in the front seat hands him the bag. Of, he hands him the bag of weed. He hears Buddy in the back seat lock and load. Clack, clack. Boom. My boy lets off on him. Couple of times hits him in the chest and the shoulder. The dude in the back seat starts stanging him, man. Snaps him up. Boom, 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 boom. Right through the seat into him. He had 19 holes in him, 19 holes in him, and he stood up, got out the car, walked into, what was that, a Wendy's at the time on Lake in like Pleasant. He walked in there, he said, crazy, I wanted to cry. He said, my face looked like this. But he just could not get a tear out. He said he knew he was going to die. And he accepted that he was going to die when he laid down on the floor in Wendy's. He said the only thing he hoped is that he killed at least one or two of them. Those were his only thoughts. And then he was in a coma for a month and a half. And uh, he came back. He actually recently did a gang of time in prison, like nine or 10 years, nine years or something like that. I think nine years was his sentence. And uh, he just got out a few months ago. You know what I'm saying? And I know he's from my group, but I know he doesn't like any type of exposure. None. The art of war tells you to never give people access to yourself. If people have access to you, if they can pick up the phone and dial it and get you on the phone, they got access to you. Right now, the whole world has access to me. That's a no-no. But I have to say this shit. I have to be the one to do this shit. I do not want to be. I would rather just go on living my life, you know, smoking weed and chilling and doing my thing, doing my artwork, the tables. I might fuck around with the roofing industry again. I might not. Like, I just want to fucking live, man. And be left alone. That's all I ever wanted. But it's never going to happen. And I can accept that. I can accept that. I know that I'll never have like any real peace on this in this simulation you know this this world that we think is something that it's not you guys how the fuck does somebody get shot 12 times in the back have 19 holes because seven bullets exited him i got shot one time went flying like five or ten feet because i was already running that shit hit me. Everything in my fucking... Man, it was like getting hit by a car or kicked by a fucking horse. Like, man, you guys, when a bullet hits you solid, you got to think your femur is your biggest bone. I didn't feel the bullet. I felt my broken leg. That was what I felt. But I have no clue how the fuck my man... Got shot that many times and stood up and walked away. He went to prison because he was riding around on like drill kill mode with just strapped up at all times. He ended up getting caught with three firearms, one, and then he got caught again with two. And I always used to tell him like, bro, Man, take care. Just put just put some money on that fool's head, man. 
Like, well, don't even. And it was so personal to him that he was like, no, fuck that. I want him. And my man ended up going to prison for nine years trying to hunt down an individual that snapped him up like that. While he was incarcerated, the individual was murdered coming out of a nightclub. And my man never even got a chance to get down on him because revenge is for God. You know, man, we want it so bad, you guys. But if you give it enough time, I'm teaching you guys one of the, the illest lessons I've ever learned in life. If somebody's really got it coming, you guys, and they're really bogus. You have to give God a little bit of time. You can't snap your fingers. He's not on your clock. He's going to take care of it. Okay. You know, and I haven't heard from my man in months. Like I'm on here. This is like a no, no for the most part with certain people in, in, you know, and it's like that. That's a rule I had to break. You guys, there's no consequences for it or no shit. But I know that I'm putting myself in a certain situation by even talking about certain shit, you guys. So please soak this shit up. Download these videos because they will try and erase them out of existence once they see what I'm actually telling you guys. I'm out. I'm going to get my fucking pizza. So fuck you guys. Like this shit is crazy, man. It's a simulation, man.